everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Family is everything. It's how children grow and are shaped into the people they'll become. I saw the way my parents grew in both their love of our faith and love for each other, and I grew up knowing my worth and that I was unconditionally loved. I can honestly say that my childhood was blessed with nothing but endless joys surrounded by my loving parents and crazy siblings. To imagine a life without them by my side is something I can't even begin to fathom. Not always are biological parents part of the picture though. Some children don't have the privilege of growing up with their birth mom or dad or either of them. Eugenia grew up without both. Her mother died when she was three years old, forcing her father to divide the house to find humane ways to bring up his six children. Eugenia stayed behind with her pious aunt as her father went off to find work, just what she needed to begin her journey to sainthood. About four years later, her father was finally able to reunite their family, but sadly passed away shortly after. Eugenia and her siblings quickly became orphans and no longer would know a life surrounded with love from their mother or father. Thankfully though, God never abandoned Eugenia in this dark time. She may have lost both of her birth parents by the age of seven, but she quickly adopted her new spiritual parents, plus their 10 children, who were also pious and very open about their Catholic faith. During the mid 1800s in Italy, the church saw clergy as corrupt and the Freemasons were on the rise to discredit the church's hierarchy. But this all the more strengthened the Rivasco household and their prayers never ceased. Eugenia went on to receive all of her sacraments and dove deep into her prayer life. In 1862, Eugenia's uncle passed away, leaving her yet again without a father figure. It was also around this time that her brother Ambrose joined the anti-clerical Freemasons. Nonetheless, Eugenia stepped up to take care of the household. Wanting what was best for the child of a series of misfortunes, her aunt sought after a suitor for Eugenia, but she felt a calling on her heart to a different vocation. One year later, the young woman entered a religious order dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She took it one step further and began caring for the people on the streets and catechizing girls in poverty. With growing interest from others in her order, Eugenia went on to found the Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Mary in 1868, offering a Christian-based education in a secular setting to the poor. Eugenia spent the rest of her life as the first Mother Superior of the order, traveling around Europe to start new communities and correct against the anti-clerical teachings. To this day, the order's charisms focus on youth education and heavily promote the dignity of all women. Blessed Eugenia might not have grown up with her birth parents to learn about a life of comfort and faith, but she was given spiritual parents who loved and cared for her, raising her in the faith to become a strong and independent daughter of God. She went on to do the same for countless young women until her death in 1900. Let us too go forth to open our hearts to those around us and be spiritual parents to those who have been placed into our lives. Blessed Eugenia Rivasco, pray for us.